let's face it, nitric acid is expensive, but you can cheaply make it at home. If you want to watch a video on learn how to do it quickly without a lot of fluff in the video, this video is for you. You can buy many cheap distillation kits on Amazon, but my advice is to buy good quality equipment that'll last you for a lifetime. I'm gonna share what I use, and I'm also gonna put links to product descriptions for each of these products into the uh, description of this video. So if you wanna order off of Amazon, you can easily do that. You'll want a two liter double neck flask for sure. That's big enough that you won't have bowl overs. You'll need a, a, a vacuum adapter. You'll need a condensing tube. I suggest you get the 400 millimeter that's big enough. Also, you'll want a, a thermometer adapter. You'll want some plugs so that you can plug the two, millimeter, uh, the two liter flask. You'll want some funnels to dump your chemicals in into the two. Uh, liter flask. You'll want some stirring tubes. You want some keg clips. I suggest you get the metal ones. The plastic ones break pretty easy. I suggest you get a good thermometer that goes in there. Uh, you want the thermometer down around the neck and also you'll need a good hot plate. I like sodium nitrate or potassium nitrate. Uh, any high concentrated uh, drain over, opener that sulfuric acid will work and you'll need some baking soda for your cleanups. On the aluminum foil, I just have a tent around the two liter flask. You don't want to do it tightly, and then you want to wrap the joint up here so that it keeps the heat in. Our goal is to get this up to here. Um, about 110 is about perfect. 110 degrees C, 115 C. But, uh, it really comes off then. And then anything above 80 degrees C is when it starts uh, dripping into my half liter uh, uh, brown bottle. And I use this brown bottle uh, to catch it. And then I put this into the walk around over here into these bottles here. Uh, I've got one already filled up. Uh, so these bottles here are one liter. And you buy them on Amazon. I'm gonna put links to all these products in the description. Uh, you also use ice. I've got frozen Gatorade bottles that I put into my pump water. And I pump that through the the deal here. You see, so I just took it out and it repumped some air through there. So that little flask is there. Uh, another thing you'll need to keep on hand is I keep baking soda, a big bag when I'm dealing with acids, and I keep one bucket full of baking soda water, and then this bucket here is full of baking soda water that I've already. Uh, neutralized acid ends when I'm cleaning my flask out. I'm using sodium nitrate right now for this mixture. You can use potassium nitrate. 
which is I have some in this bar box. You'll see potassium nitrate right here. So potassium nitrate works. Um, for my acid, I'm using professional drain opener. You'll see here. Bought that at Ace Hardware. It's 90 uh, something percent uh, sulfuric. So you'll need some of that. And uh, I just keep a lot of paper towels on hand. You'll notice that if we drip anything, I throw even water. I uh, immediately put some baking soda on it. And uh, you'll see right here we spill a little sulfuric acid. Sprinkle some baking soda on it over here. And it just neutralizes that when you sprinkle some baking soda on it. Hey man. My friend David just showed up. With tacos. With tacos. And we're going to finish getting us a couple liters of nitric acid here with our little setup. Obviously, I have the fan off because I'm doing YouTube. But we're going to flip the fan on to suck all these fumes out of here. Even though this is a closed system, there is something coming out. Because you'll notice I've already broke this peg clip. And this peg clip up here completely broke off. I'm going to get me some metal keg clips because these little plastic ones do not hold up when you're running nitric acid. Nitric acid, we're producing 95% pure nitric acid with this distillation process. Thanks for watching and don't forget to enter our free subscriber giveaway by clicking on the top right hand th thumbnail at the end of this video.